All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to connect an additional second monitor to a uh, GeForce RTX gaming computer. All right, so this is pretty simple. This is your base. This here is going to slide on there like that. Your monitor is going to go on here. All right, this is your power cord. You have to connect it to the transformer. Yep. So this is going to go like that. This is going to go into to your monitor. And this is going to go from your computer to your monitor. All right, let's put it together. Right, so let's go ahead and take this off. And take it over the monitor. All right. So this is where we're going to attach this contraption right here. It's just going to slide in there, just like that. So I'm going to pull this stuff off of here. This is like a, prote a protective, you know, thing that they put on here. Like that. All right, so now this should slip right in there. All right, so let's take a look at it. So we're going to put it here, and this should slide right in, just like that. Should slide in there. There's two little grooves. I think you got to push. Yeah, there it goes. So it's connected now. And uh, see, I can pick it up by it. That's when you know it's connected, right? So let's set that down for a second. Let's pull this up. So this, we've got to pull this stuff off of. You've got all this uh, protective stuff on here. So let's go ahead and get that off of there. Try not to scratch it with your finger. Bam, done. All right, so now, got our monitor, right? And it's pretty simple. You can see which way it goes, right? You can see here that you've got this tapering, right? And if you look on here, you've got tapering. So you have to match these up. So I've got to turn this around, just like that. And now I'm going to just match this up like that. It's just going to slide on there. Not supposed to. And there we go. Now the question is, you get this thing here. Is that tightening? And then this tightens that little base onto that shaft. You saw that little area where the screw goes in and that's supposed to hold it together. So, there we go. There is our monitor. Super thin though. All right, here's all your inputs, right? So there's your power, there's your uh, hookup to your computer, and there's your HDMI. So I think that this should rotate a little bit so that you can tip it towards you a little bit better. But we're gonna try it up here and see if it fits. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and pick this up and bring it over here. You know, carefuls. All right, so yeah, it kinda, kinda fits the way it sets there. I'm gonna have to pull this out a little bit because this is, or we could do it like that. That might work. You can tilt it, which I just did. I'll show you. So you can, you gotta kinda grab the base and twist. And it'll tilt right out. So there you go. That looks pretty good. So I like the feel of it, it's very nice. So we're gonna hook all this stuff up. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this in there. Just gotta make sure I got it right. It's that curved side down. I'm gonna put some pressure on the back of it kind of push it in and then I'm just going to twist these these little screwy things here and they just kind of connect hook onto there you got to really get it in there there we go and then you got to get this one on and just get a good get them kind of tight and bam, that's good. Now you're ready to go. Now we can hook the other end to the CPU. All right, now let's go ahead and get our transformer and power cable. So this is the transformer. And here's your power that you plug into here. It looks like you got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of a line here. So let's go ahead. We're just going to plug it in here, right? Right there. Bam. Now this end here has to be plugged into your, uh, it comes out of the 110, it's the connector, right? All right, so if you look, 
It's got three little prongs on it, so you just gotta kind of get it in there like that. And bam, Bob's your uncle, ready to go. And so now this can go back here behind the desk. We can just slide it down. Just push it back down under there to pull the desk out a little bit. Got our power cable in. Now we just gotta push this plug down there. And now we're gonna come under here. I'm gonna plug it in. Right there. There's our plug. Pull her down. And she's got a jillion spots to plug it, so we'll just put it in any one of these. Bam. All right, that baby's in there. Okay. So now we've got power to the system. And now we gotta put it onto the CPU. Mm, check this thing out. It's a monster. Very beefy. Huge. And hopefully I can connect this to this thing here. We'll see in a minute. <laughs> Cross your fingers. So let's take a look and see what we got back here. I'm sure we've got a couple million ports. Oh, we might not. So this is not compatible with this uh, computer, so we're going to need an HDMI port. Yeah, there's an HDMI there. There's an HDMI there. And we got a couple HDMIs there, and we got one on the back of that new monitor. Our inspection, we realize that this is not going to work for us. So we might as well just take it off. So we're not going to need it. This is your old traditional port that you used to use. So let's just set that there. And I do believe we're going to have to use this HDMI port right there. All right, so we've got an HDMI cord. And the question is, do we hook it to the monitor or do we just hook it right to the CPU? And which port do we use on the CPU? The top port or the bottom one? These are questions that are gonna be answered through trial and error. And so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and slip this bad boy in here. So when you're doing this, just make sure you get the, the beveled edge to the bottom. You can see how it is. And you just kind of smush it in, bam, done. Bob's your uncle, that thing's ready to rock. Now we're just gonna plug it into something over here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, according to ChatGPT, when you're using a CPU or a PC, not an Apple, what you're going to do is you're going to connect both monitors to the CPU. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, the other monitor is connected here. And if you look, you're going to see there is an HDMI right there. So I'm, I'm basically figuring that this is where we want to put this. I mean, that's... That would be the rational way to do it. So if this is the one monitor, then this would be your second monitor. So I'm thinking that that's the way we got to do it. So now all we got to do is fire this bad boy up and see if it works. Cha-ching, let's do this. That's the power button for the computer. You just it. Yeah. Right now this will turn on all everything here? Yes. All right, let's see if it works. You got enough room for everything. All right, so now what happens with the monitors? How do I turn the, oh, look, at this is coming on. Wow, look at that sparkly. I'm not gonna stab anybody, I swear. I'll put that over here. Oh, I stabbed that. All right, so now, oh, here, this sucker's coming on. All right. Bam. It's 1219 in the PMs. Check it all out. Let's see what's happening over here. Oh my God, look at this. I feel like I'm in a disco. That is crazy. All right, let's get back to it over here and let's see what's going on here. And this is getting me excited. I don't know what to do now. All right, so I've never used PC, so I have no freaking clue how to get into your um, computer. <laughs> Maybe I press this, the space button. That brings up the window where you gotta put in your password just like with an Apple. That's it? <laughs> That's your password? All right, so we got the power hooked up to this, and all we have to do is press that first button to the right to turn this monitor on. So that's our next move. Okay, so the first button here is the power button. So I just gotta find that and hit it. Now I just powered it up. Bam. Okay. Well, there we are. Bam. Oh, look, we're good. All right, we can do whatever we gotta do now. Isn't that cool? Super looking as bad as. Um, I don't know what you want. I'm going to put this back over here. All right, so I think you're good. Hang on to this. Don't lose this. 
you know, this is your, you might want to keep, I don't know if you want to keep the box or not. So this is an MSI GE Force monster computer for gaming. If you're a gamer, if you don't have this, you don't have nothing because this bad boy is powered up. This will take you to new levels. I totally recommend this thing right here. Check it out. Two monitors, we're ready to party. You know what I'm saying? All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you stuff like this.